This is a digital e-ink picture frame that I designed and built recently. It uses a Raspberry Pi Zero 2W, an e-ink display module, and an SD card with any images, which it will cycle through automatically. The e-ink display has a paper-like appearance making it the perfect display technology for framed images. It's a super unique piece of tech to have at my desk and I want to give you guys a step-by-step -step guide on how you can make this yourself. Let's go over the components. You're going to need a WaveShare 7.3 inch e-paper display and driver board, a Raspberry Pi Zero 2W with a micro SD card, another micro SD card for images with a micro USB adapter, and of course a micro USB power cable. All components will be linked in the description. Once you have your components gathered, we can move on to installing Pi OS and getting some images on your other SD card. Grab the SD card from your Raspberry Pi and plug it into your computer. You're going to need the Raspberry Pi Imager, which you can get from the official Raspberry Pi website. Once you have that downloaded and installed, open it up. We're going to go through the menus here, first selecting Pi 02W, then for OS we'll choose 64-bit full at the top. Finally click on the micro SD card, and once you click next, there's some configurations we're going to want to set here. You're going to want to make sure to set a host name, as well as a username and password. For the host name and username, I like to use Pi just to keep things simple. You'll also want to add your Wi-Fi information and make sure that your land country and your time zone are set correctly. In the services section, you'll want to click the checkbox next to enable SSH. After that, you should be good. Press save, press yes here, and then yes again. Now we'll just wait for the image to write to the SD card. Once the process finishes, you should get a success message. You can go ahead and press continue and take your micro SD card out of your computer. Next, we'll put some images on the other SD card. You can drop any images you want in there, as long as they're in JPEG or PNG format. Now, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, the images will be cycled through automatically. By default, images will cycle every 600 seconds. If you want to change that, now is the time. All you need to do is create a blank text document, type the cycle time you want in seconds, then save the file and name it refresh underscore time and make sure it's a .txt file type. Once you have everything on the SD card, you can inject it and set it aside. We still need to set up some of the code that'll be running on the Pi, but we'll get to that after we have everything assembled. So let's get the frame and housing components together. These are parts that I designed and 3D printed myself. I'll link to these files below. There's three main components here. The frame that will hold the display, an enclosure that'll hold the electronics, and a stand to keep it upright. We'll also need a pair of 20mm M3 screws and nuts. If you don't have access to a 3D printer, it's no problem. You can buy a picture frame online and cut out a mat to the size of the e-ink display. This one here was from an old prototype, but I'll link below to some options that should work. This is definitely the more DIY route, and you'll have to figure out how to secure all the parts behind the display. If you've got the 3D printed parts handy, we can move on to putting everything together. If you're using a different frame, this should still give you a good idea of how to orient things. First, attach the pin headers on the Pi to the driver board. Slide them into the housing with the ribbon cable off to the left like this. The 3D printed frame has two slots at the bottom for M3 nuts. The e-ink display should slot in easily from the back of the frame. Take the electronics housing and make sure the ribbon cables are tucked away neatly. Attach the cable at the bottom, place the housing flat against the display, and secure the stand with the two 20mm M3 screws. With that, the assembly is finished. We can attach the micro SD card that has our images and plug in the power cable. At this point, all we need to do is set up the code that I'll be running on the Pi. Grab your computer again and open up a terminal. We'll SSH into the Pi using the following command. Replace Pi with whatever you set for your username and hostname. When prompted, type yes and you should be remotely connected to the Pi command line. Clone the GitHub repository source code and use the following command. Once it's cloned, navigate into the folder and run the setup script. After the script finishes running, reboot the Pi. After a minute or so, you'll see this beginning setup message appear. And shortly after that, your first image will be displayed. You can see that this process of displaying an image doesn't happen right away, and this is just a limitation with the e-ink display technology. It takes about 20 to 30 seconds for the display to refresh and have a new image appear. A 
I hope you guys found this helpful. I'll be responding in the comments, so let me know if you give this a try, have any questions, or run into any issues. The links to all the components and my source code will be in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.